Assalamu alaikum everyone. Um, how are you all doing? Assalamu alaikum. I was hiding from you guys. I missed you so much. Much, much. So the, we're just waiting for the people who are coming in the live session. Uh, I know that Jules is not going to be in this live session again. One here is looking. One's looking. Look. Yeah, well, we 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 will wait for. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I was saying more that. people, inshallah. Let us know where you're from in the comments and yes. how you are doing, and we will give you a shout out, inshallah. Uh, I don't know why I can't. If you're there, say salam alaikum. I am going to... First story that I... No, we're not going to start, talk about stories yet. Assalamu alaikum, Brother Akbar. How are you doing, Hi, Brother? Hi, Akbar. If any of you... If... No, he's okay. there. he sees you every week almost. Okay. Hi, Brother Akbar. How are you doing? Alhamdulillah. Uh, Mommy, you're in a live session. Layla. So, let us know where you are all from in the comments and how are you all doing? And we're waiting to see uh, a few more people before we start, inshallah. Um, today, we're going to discuss a tent that can help millions of refugees, mashallah. We're going to talk about ha and a hadith from Prophet Muhammad sallallahu that will protect us from eight things. A 90-year-old grandmother accepted Islam last week. And is it an insult to say that women come from a crooked rib? Very interesting. So um, stay with us as we discuss these stories, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum, Cameron. Uh, may Allah bless you also. Hi, Cameron. Hi, oh, Cameron. And Akbar is saying, alhamdulillah, Layla, I love you too. My cute kid, yes. Most Thanks. of the time, brother. No, all the time. I'm not all the time. Yes, right, so... And um, I'm... What about my cute little mommy right here saying the live session? I love you so much. Yes. And I love you guys too. But brother Akbar cannot say that to a sister. He can say it to a child. But he can't say it to a woman. Thank you. Unless she's his wife, of course. Or unless she's his sister or brother, um, niece or something like this. I'm your niece. Right? No, you're not mm. his niece. Mm. <laughs> Layla's your little sister in Islam, right, brother? Uh, she tries to discover all of this, subhanAllah. Assalamu alaikum, Ismail. How are you doing, Hi, brother? Hi, Ismail. You saw me? Yes, he's seeing you. And your Layla. Yes, he's seeing you. Alhamdulillah. How are you all? Let's see um, a few more and then we can start, inshallah. Me too, I will start, but I don't have the story ready, but um, mommy will tell me, okay? My mom will tell me the story that I can say. Right. Um, so, I will be working with you in every live session. Assalamu alaikum, Tahira. How are you doing? Assalamu alaikum, Akbar. Yes, little sister Layla. Yes, indeed she is. Um, yes, yeah, so as you see, she tries to understand. Um, she's still only six, so she does try to understand. Yeah, my birthday was on December. 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 I can't she does it. try to understand, um, you know who we can and can't be too familiar with. So she's still only little and she still is learning. No, mommy can't talk Arabic. Salam so alaikum, yeah. Ismail, you're fine, alhamdulillah. Masha'Allah, inshallah, uh, Allah give you good health always, brother. Please remember us in your du'a. I will, and I always do du'a at the end of the session, so keep watching in. Um, so let's start, shall we? I think we have a few people now that we can start with. Um, so the first story today that I want to talk about... What about me? The first story today that I want to talk about is a, a very nice invention from a Canadian Jordanian sister. Um, she's an architect. I'm not the player of, of 
if any of you are uh, going to talk to me, let me just call them. Her name is Abia Saikeli, and she has even invented a tent that collects rainwater and stores solar energy. Um, it is composed of high strength plastic tubing molded into, um, you know, some cur like curves, some woven curves that can expand and enclose during different weather conditions. Um, it is called Weaving a Home, that's the name of it, and it can be easily broken down and transported to anywhere. And this is very good because it will help you help many refugees, subhanAllah, especially in the winter, because the rainwater that is collected in the in the tubing, this will act as a shower so that they will the people living in them will get clean sanitation and of course solar energy collects for the sun uh, and, and gives them heat and so much uh, during the day. Now it isn't turned into an end product yet but inshallah it will and of course this will ease the lives of millions of refugees all around the world that are currently displaced. I think it's originally aimed for Syrian refugees but Allah alam maybe it can also go to those who are escaping Myanmar um, as well. Now, in one of the comments of this um, article, mashallah, I remember somebody saying, well, as Muslims, we should be opening up our homes to these refugees. And yes, it's true, we are taught that we should be doing that. However, in, these, in today's age, you know, there are so many refugees now that um, it is very difficult for many of us to open up our homes to the amount of refugees that have been displaced. Um, so the logistics doesn't make it easy. Of course, in the days of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the, the population was a lot less than it is now. So it was easy for those in those days to um, welcome them into their houses. It's a bit more difficult today, of course, but this is a fantastic invention that will help refugees live, of course, not a normal life, but at least with some dignity, you know, in a, it, it, the rainwater is acting as a shower for them and so on. And, it, and it's more secure and it's more safe and it's protecting them from all sorts of weathers. So, mashallah, it is a fantastic invention by this wonderful sister. So please go ahead and click on the link and read more about it, inshallah. I think you will find it's really nice, alhamdulillah. as uh, inshallah, uh, sister, all Muslim. Inshallah, brother, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum, Ages. Did I say your name right? Um, uh, we are fine, alhamdulillah. How are you? I hope you are doing fine as well. Khan Imran, assalamu alaikum, sister. Assalamu alaikum, brother. How are you doing? And assalamu alaikum, Claire. How are you doing? Um, I'm glad to see you're back with us. Uh, I like to see all the familiar faces, alhamdulillah, but I do like to see all the new faces. So I just want to explain before I go on to the next story. Every Tuesday we talk about trending stories from our website from the previous week. We feature them on our newsletter and I will give you the link if you want to subscribe to that later on. Um, so it's just a way for us to connect with you all um, and to appreciate everything that you are doing because we can't be, do any of this without all of your support, subhanAllah. So um, these are our top stories that we like to discuss and, um, you know, we get to speak to you in the comments and we get to put faces and things like this. And it's very nice. It's a, it's a nice, cosy, uh, half an hour to 40 minute chat, usually every Tuesday afternoon. Most times Layla pops in, as you saw earlier, she was here and I'm sure she will be popping in from now and again. Um, cause she likes to say salam alaikum to you all. And for her, it's a nice way to talk to other Muslims as well, because we are not in a, in a Muslim country now, so it's really important for her as well to be connected to all of you. And she looks forward to it, as I'm sure all of you do. So this is what's behind this, these sessions every Tuesday. We just talk, 
we, it's just an informal chat about some of our top stories and we get to talk to each of you and I do recognize most of you when you come back um, week after week and we really appreciate it on these live chats on all our live sessions but as well on our articles that we're putting out so Jazakallah here for all your hard support because we can't do it without all of you subhanAllah so I just wanted to say that before we move on to our next story. Assalamu alaikum, Ibrahim. How are you doing, brother? Assalamu alaikum, Tara. How are you doing, sister? Alhamdulillah, uh, brother Khan is fine. Alhamdulillah, we're good as well. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum, Shamras from Belgium, Europe. How are you doing, brother? Is it good there? I hope so. How is the cold in Europe? Is it cold? It's very cold here in Canada, subhanAllah, but alhamdulillah. There are worse things to worry about than cold. Um, alhamdulillah. So let's go on to our next story. Salam alaikum, Joe from Louisiana in the US. Oh, our neighbors. How are you doing, Joe? Um, Louisiana is right down the south, though, I think, right? So I'm assuming it's quite warm there, or what? Is it cold, warm? How are you doing there? So our next story is a very nice one. Actually, it's a, it's a video in the link. So you ha I'm not going to um, tell you all what's in the video. But I am going to tell you a little bit about what it's about. You need to click on the link when I put it up. And um, it will explain in more detail the hadith that I'm about to um, read from the, it. The hadith is as follows. Oh Allah, I take refuge in you from anxiety and sorrow weakness and laziness, miserliness, the burden of debts, and from being overpowered by man. This is reported by Bukhari and Muslim, and it is a um, hadith from Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Um, you know, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is, is the example that we should all be following, he's the role model of our lives. And he he was he always kept busy. If you read the seerah or you know lots of stories about him, subhanAllah, you will always find that he always kept busy. He was never idle, he was never lazy, he never had too many relaxing days, subhanAllah. And there, there is a very big reason for this. He never wasted his time. And the very big reason for this is because, you know, the devil loves people who are idle. It's the idleness is the devil's playground, if you like, or shaitan or Satan or however you want to call him. Now, um, when we're idle, we get bored. And of course, when we get bored, this is probably quite often when we go into doing things that we shouldn't be doing, doing sinful things that we shouldn't be doing. So this is why we should always try to live a very productive life, a very active life and keep um ask Allah to keep us protected from these things that is mentioned in the du'a. And if you click on the link that I'm about to um, give to you all, you there is a shaykh in there and he's explaining this du'a in a very beautiful way that you can get more answers on it um, and you will be able to find out more about it, mashallah. So I just wanted to read you that because we should be always following Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and of course, he led a very active life, a very busy life, and we should try and do the same. SubhanAllah. Uh, Alhamdulillah, you're fine, Tara. I'm glad about that. Joe says, wonderful, my sweet sister. I'm glad to hear it, my sweet sister. Um, Alhamdulillah, you're good, Claire. My little daughter, Sarah, says salam to Layla. Show up, please. Oh, wait a minute, Dave, brother. I will ask her. Layla, come. Um, Shamraz. By the way, I personally love talking about Islam and also loves those who will whom wills to learn about Islam. Me too, Shamraz. And I like very much open-minded people and people who want to learn and so on. Layla, brother Ibrahim has a daughter called Sarah and she's saying salam to you. So say salam to Sarah. Salam. Hi, Sarah. Say salam alaikum. Salam alaikum, Sarah. She wanted you to come so she can see you today. This is my daughter Layla. For those of you who, did, who don't know her, don't come, uh, or it's your first time to see. And uh, she is. I will be in every live session. She always to me in every live session. She does pop in and out. Sometimes she goes to play for a little while. But um, today, Brother Abraham's daughter wanted to say salam alaikum to you. So I hope, uh, Brother, your daughter has seen her. And I hope your daughter is uh, 
is well and uh, she's very happy. SubhanAllah, Sister Joe's daughter is also named Layla. We have two Laylas. Actually, Layla has many friends here called Layla as well. There's three of you, aren't, isn't there? Mm. Three Laylas in total in no. a, from her Egyptian friends. There's Layla, another Layla, and a little Layla, isn't there? Yes, three of you. Oh, yeah. Layla is a very beautiful name, I have to say. But I have a sister called Sarah, by the way, Brother Abraham, which is also Sarah, a very beautiful Sarah, name. Sarah, not Sarah. Well, he might pronounce it Sarah or he might pronounce it Sarah. Because my, because mm -hmm. my, I have a friend called Sarah. You do, and my sister is Sarah. So that's why I always pronounce it that way, subhanAllah. Assalamu alaikum. How old is your daughter, brother? Layla is six. She's just turned six. Salam, sweet Layla. Uh, Abraham is saying yes. And Khan, cute Layla. Thanks, I'm off to play. Thank you for the hearts. 14 are seeing. Yes, and you've got 21 hearts and 31 comments up till now. So, subhanAllah, yes. <laughs> so, let's... Bye, I'm off to play. Uh, Brother Abraham says, lovely Layla. She is, and I'm, I, I'm assuming your daughter is also lovely, Brother, subhanAllah. May Allah bless you with more beautiful children, and may Allah grant you um, yours, your daughter long life and health. And all of your kids, subhanAllah, uh, may Allah grant them all with long life and health and righteous Muslims, inshallah. Uh, she's 10, mashallah, big age. So, Layla's a little bit younger. Uh, Anwar is saying, Aslam. Anwar is saying, Salam alaikum to you, Layla. Brother Anwar. Saying, Salam alaikum. And Joe's Layla is nine. Joe's Layla is nine. And so she's a bit older than you, and Brother Abraham's daughter is 10, so she's a bit older than you. May Allah bless you both, mother and daughter, and the Ummah, this worldly life and in the hereafter. The same for you, Shamras, and all your family, and all of you who are watching, and all of our followers in general, inshallah. The next story I want to talk to you about is a really nice one, um, proving that you are never too old to accept the truth, subhanAllah. A 90-year-old grandmother in, this in the central Philippinian province of Cebu, I hope I said that right, has accepted Islam, mashallah, Allah Akbar. She took her shahada with a Muslim scholar working with the UK-based Islamic Education and Research Academy um, just last week. So I'm going to put that link up because it's a lovely story. And it just shows you that you, do, you are just just never too old or never too young to accept the truth when it comes to you it comes to you subhanallah so um please click on that it's a really lovely story and uh you know we i know that ma the majority of you love to hear about people accepting islam and the more unusual stories the better subhanallah so we do try to feature them and that is a really lovely heartwarming one alhamdulillah um Ibrahim, bye, I love you, Allah bless you. Sarah got twin brothers, Ahmed and Muhammad. MashaAllah. May they also be blessed, brother, subhanAllah. And the last one I want to talk to you about today is, we had a question. I'm not sure if this person was a non-Muslim or a Muslim, just trying to understand the hadith. But basically they asked, the question, women come in from a crooked rib. Is it an insult? Now, the actual hadith is, take from Prophet, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, take my advice with regard to women. Act kindly towards women, for they were created from a rib, and the most crooked part of a rib is, it, is its uppermost. If you attempt to straighten it, you will break it and if you leave it alone it will remain um crooked so act kindly towards them towards women and that is reported by bukhari and muslim now somebody this person asked is this an insult to women and the answer is absolutely beautiful but i'm only just going to give you the short answer from our scholar in order to read the whole lot you will have to click on the link but the answer is absolutely beautiful i have to say so, if you notice at the beginning and the end of the hadith, 
Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has some very important advice and that is act kindly towards women. So that in itself, of course, is not an insult. How can it be? He's telling men to act kindly towards your women. So this is mercy and compassion, not an insult, subhanAllah. Salaam alaikum, Abu Bakr. How are you doing? Uh, Barakallah Fikum um, from Nigeria, mashallah. We have a lot usually from, lots of brothers and sisters usually from Nigeria, mashallah. How are you doing, brother? Inshallah, you're doing fine. So going back to this hadith, so Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he first and he ended the hadith, he began the hadith and he ended the hadith by telling men to be kind to women, to treat them with kindness. So this of course is not an insult whatsoever, it's, a, it's a, an advice about mercy and compassion. And then it address, and it's addressing men, this hadith is addressing men. It's not addressing women, it's addressing men. And it's telling men, be kind and do not shape women into how you want them to be. Uh, leave them, leave them be. Um, obviously, if a woman has some m mistakes, uh, if you are a brother or you are a um, husband, um, or if it's your daughter, then you, of course, you have to advise her in a kind way so that she can correct those mistakes. But you cannot try and change her into someone you want her to be. And this is what the hadith is talking about. You should treat her kindly and you should obviously guide her when possible if you have the most knowledge. But you shouldn't try and change her into something that she isn't or something that she can never be. Man should accept the unique nature of women and remain kind to them. And what we have to remember is that the perfect rib is in fact crooked, it's not straight. Um, if you look at the anatomy, subhanAllah, if you look at the anatomy of the body, the rib, it, it bends because it's a protection of the lungs and the heart. So it bends, it's not straight. The ribs are, don't go straight across, they bend round. So it's perfect as it is. So this hadith is more or less saying the woman is perfect. She's perfect. She's for, I'm, I don't mean character, no one's perfect. We all have our flaws and we all have our faults and all things like this. But don't try and change the woman in something that she's not. Women are unique. Women are uh, ev every bit as important as men. Um, we should treat them with kindness and uh, we shouldn't try to change them into something that they cannot be. Otherwise, you'll just break. You'll just break that. You'll break the woman, in other words. You'll break her if you try and do things that you shouldn't. So, subhanAllah, if you think about this hadith, it came at a time when women were treated in the worst possible way by men. Um, before Islam came, women were owned, they were property. Um, if a man died, the brother would inherit the woman. You know, that she had no say, he would take her to, for him. Uh, and, you know, many of them were treated in this way as slaves, as in a harem, you know, in this kind of disgusting way. And Islam came to stop all that. And also, of course, when people had daughters back then, it was a big shame and they used to bury them alive. Um, and it was seen as shameful to be a, a woman. So Prophet Muhammad sallallahu was a pioneer for women's rights. Many people wouldn't accept that nowadays. They, would, they wouldn't like to think of it like that, but yes, he was. Because when Islam came, we, we got the right to inherit. We got the right to have our own property. We got the right to have our own money. And he, he told men, treat them properly. Don't, don't raise your hand to them. Don't treat them in this way. Don't marry more than four. Better for you to marry one if you can't be fair to more than one. Um, but, you know, in all these cases, he's, put, he's putting women as the queens that Islam should, tells everyone to treat the women as. And this is very powerful and it's a very beautiful hadith and I really wish that you can all read it inshallah and, and, and of course you all understand the concept of it.
Of course, the media and many people who, who do not know about Islam, they like to say that Islam demonizes women, uh, Islam uh, oppresses women, and it's simply not the truth. When many, many female converts, when they read about the rights that Islam give to women, that's usually the, one of the reasons, one of the biggest reasons they accept Islam in the first place, subhanAllah, because of, because of the rights that we are given. And, you know, it is said in the Quran that we are going to be judged the same on our good deeds. So if a man does good deed, if a woman good gives good deeds, we will get the same equal reward. And what what is that if it's not women's rights and how to look after women? And nowadays in Europe and in, the, in America, women are still fighting for equal pay and still fighting for rights that they haven't they haven't got till now yet you know Islam, is, Islam allows their women to have from a very very long time ago so we really do have to look at the Islamic system and uh, the pioneer of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in this field and really understand what was given to women I mean as as early as um, what how, how, how many years now 1440 subhanallah this is when um, Islam came to us. So all this time we have had the rights. Yet, at least in the UK, women over 30 were given the right to vote in 1918. Before that, they were treated as property by their husband. Um, before that, they had no rights. If their husband divorced, and the woman was from a wealthy family, and she had a house, the husband would automatically take it. And, you know, the West like to talk about how progressive they are. And yes, they are in many things and in many ways. We can't deny it. But when it comes to equality and rights, and I'm, I'm now not talking about modern day feminism because I don't believe that is actually feminism. I'm talking about rights, which um, feminists or the original feminist movement is all about equal rights for women so in voting, in inheritance, in, um, you know, jobs in work in things like this which which should come naturally subhanallah but yet we're still fighting for those rights it's incredibly incredible you know that we've come so far in many things but in these things these things we are we haven't really come that far we're still fighting for them in this world subhanallah so look at how islam really cherishes the women and really treasures the women subhanallah you know the woman doesn't have to work if she doesn't want to the man is responsible for her and i don't see that as being demeaning or um you know a bad thing i think it's actually seen as um you know it's giving the woman the choice she wants to work and her husband's okay with it, fine. If she doesn't want to work, that's fine too. She doesn't have to. And actually, Islam says so. So, subhanAllah, you know, all these things that people laugh at and think that we're oppressed, obviously, they don't know real Islam, subhanAllah. Um, Sham, Shamraz, by the way, brothers and sisters, I've uploaded my Facebook account, Many Islamic Reminders. So, if any of you would learn, like to learn more, visit my account, and it's public, so you'll be able to see many reminders. Jazakallah khair, Shamraz, that's very nice of you. Um, I hope many our brothers and sisters um, make use of that. And you can also join our Facebook group and put some of your Islamic reminders on there. I'm going to give you the link shortly, inshallah. Our Facebook group is called About Islam 101. It's mainly for new Muslims um, or Muslim revert converts, whatever you like to say. I personally like convert better than revert. Um, it's, it's for uh, us mainly, but everyone's welcome. So if you feel that you are going to be able to benefit um, new Muslims or Muslim converts, then please go ahead and join and you can share on there your links. We don't tend to do it on our page because our page is for our content produced by our website. Um, so we have our own group where you can put on links as long as of course they follow the rules we don't want anything too um, explicit or too violent or too um, hard to see I know there are a lot of things in the world right now that we need to be raised awareness and it's fine to put those on but not too uh, um, 
explicit photos that can upset people of sensitive nature. So I'm just going to put um, our group link and if you want to join, please go ahead and do so. Um, it's called About Islam 101, but if you just press on that link, uh, you what I've just posted now, you can join it, inshallah. Um, you're welcome. And I can't read your name because it's in Arabic and I'm only just learning to read in Arabic. So do forgive me. Uh, Aminu from Sudan, mashallah. How is it there in Sudan? Um, I hope you are having a, having nice weather there in Sudan. Is it? I think it's winter, but do you get it cool in winter or is it still reasonable? Um, Abdul Khadir, mashallah to you as well, brother. Aminu, jazakallah khairan, jazana wa ayyakum. Shamraz, all children of Adam are sinful, and best of them are those who repent. So only Allah can change the hearts. We must learn to respect each other. Exactly. Can't say it better than that, really, can we? And only Islam has and have given the best rights to women. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, I can't I can't say more than that other than what I've already said, of course. In English they call woman housewife and in women are called the queen of the house. Exactly. Yes, I am the queen of my house. <laughs> I'm not a housewife. Um Mohammed, assalamu alaikum from Pakistan now, Dubai. I listen you second time, but I want to know what do you live do you in live about Islam? Please tell me, give the answer questions to another. I don't, um, uh, I'm not sure what you want, brother. Um, alhamdulillah, you're listening to us for the second time. Please join us every Tuesday at a similar time. We, we, I come live every Tuesday. Um, oh, do you mean what, what live Islam? Well, we talk about different stories that have topped our, um, a website from the previous week. I Hi think, guys, I'm just going to do a story once my mom said something. I, I, I choose a selection of these stories um, from our previous week, from our top stories, and we just talk about them. So Sometimes it can be about the hadith, like the one I've just mentioned, about the crooked rib, rib women coming from crooked rib. Sometimes um, praying or uh, sometimes it's marriage advice, anything. It just depends what is our top stories of that week. And I choose usually around four and then um, we discuss them. And we get comments like uh, the brother is putting in the comments about the women being the queen of the house and so on. This is really nice. We do look forward to your feedback. Um, that's why uh, we do. It's just informal, informal chats, Panala. Assalamu alaikum, Mohammed. Um, Thandi Hafiza, you're from South Africa, mashallah. How is it there? It's a place um, I want to go because it has some very nice wildlife. Uh, I would love to do safari. Actually, I can go um, to many places in, to do safari, I, und I know. But also, my husband would love to dive, cage dive. Not, not. <laughs> I should hope he doesn't want to really dive with the great whites. So, you know, he's a bit of a adrenaline seeker. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I'd like to dive in a cage even with them but um, for sure I'd love to see them swimming subhanallah you have some very some very beautiful nature in Africa and South Africa I would love to go to inshallah uh, the name is in Arabic is Hasham Mustafa assalamu alaikum Hasha Hasham how are you doing sorry um thank you Shamraz uh, uh, Sister Trudy you, is sister. telling you assalamu alaikum sister and Layla Sister Trudy is telling you assalamu alaikum Oh my God! Layla, Le Le don't lean, otherwise you're gonna knock everything off. Trudy and Trudy, yes, uh, Trudy. yes, yes, and she has, of course, her children who last week sent you lots of uh, messages. Says salam alaikum as well. Remember. Zainab and Ibrahim. I can't remember. Um, okay, so now I want to also tell you we have um, a lot of you ask us, are you? WhatsApp because I know a lot of you now you like to check WhatsApp groups and things like this. Um, no, we're not on WhatsApp, but we are on Can I please we are on Telegram, which is a similar message group. So if you want to subscribe to us on Telegram, please go ahead and do that because 
you know, um, there are some issues on WhatsApp with security settings. So this is why we've gone for Telegram. I have just put up our Telegram um, page where you can go ahead and subscribe. You need to download the app onto your phone and then subscribe. And then every day I'm putting on there three of our top stories. So if you don't always have a chance to um, go on Facebook to have a scroll through your news feed or go onto our Facebook page or whatever, and you just want to get a couple of stories, Telegram is the place to go. They, I put out three every day with the exception of Saturday when I just put one out. Because, you know, I need a day off as well. Uh, Sister Trudy is sending you kisses. Me too. <laughs> and the last thing I want to tell you about, I did just mention it, is our newsletter. Our changing stories come from our newsletter. And you can subscribe for free on this link that I have just done. And um, it comes out every Sunday. And we put several of our top stories from the previous week on our newsletter. And then I choose several of them to talk about on our trending Tuesdays. So I have put the link up there as well in case you wish to subscribe there. All of these are for free. Telegram is free, obviously our group is for free and our newsletter is for free. Shamraz, I love giving dawah and may Allah give Mufti Menk a long and healthy life because I've learned so much from him by the will of Allah. Yes, Mufti Menk is a favorite among our audience and among us here at About Islam. We, I, uh, Me personally, I love watching his lessons. Um, I feel like benefit a lot from them subhanallah so he is a favorite and um may i mean i mean mohammed okay good work allah give you next life after and, and the same for you brother may allah also um give you a very good life in this life and Ya Rab, a very high place in jannah as well inshallah Layla just wants to tell you a little something before i end this is mommy's work that she's planning on doing it now and she's a Muslim as you can see with the veil. I have a veil. So it's about Islam 101.net and may Allah bless you. That's the end of my story. Very nice. So inshallah um, your du'a is... I'll make a big one as well for you and I'll make du'a I make du'a in my head every time time I go to bed in my head though so you can inshallah she's making the work for all of you just like I am Shamraz I put the link to our group that you can post your Islamic reminders in there so please go ahead and look I've just put that link up it's called about Islam 101 that I said Yes, and now I will make the work for all of you brothers and sisters who are watching us and for those who might watch us a bit later on. May Allah protect you all and give you the good, the good health and all of the blessings, inshallah. May Allah protect and all your families and give your, your families good health and long life and all the best in this world and in Jannah. And I would also like to ask Allah to protect all our brothers and sisters out there who are suffering right now from oppression who are in um, serious situations such as uh, the refugees from Syria, the refugees from Myanmar, also the people in Yemen who are really suffering. May Allah give them ease, give them comfort. May Allah put, put, uh, put an end to this in, in some way so that they can live good lives. And for those who have passed away because of this oppression and because of these um, atrocities that are happening, may Allah bless them with Jannah Amin. Um, that is all from us today. Um, I will join. I Bye. will be here next Tuesday, inshallah. <laughs> um, and um, we will see you then. Have a very blessed week. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.